Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 16 of Direwolf20 server play series. I'm with Quetzi and Cuts and Warax and Damien and Fireball and Soren and T-Love. What's up, everybody? Hi! Hi! Hello. I can't remember last time, like, Forgecraft stayed this popular after the first couple days. Um... What? That's a good question. Right? <laughs> so I don't know. A little bit. So, Sora and I expanded our base a little bit. Really? Yeah, it's over here. The basic plan is this is going to be like a three-way tunnel that leads to three different magical-based areas. Because this is right. the magic side of the base, right? Yeah, yeah. And I already started working on Batania. Over here is okay. probably going to be either Thalmcraft or Blood Magic, and over here is going to be the other one. Interesting. Yeah, I've been having a good time. Good. Lots of cool new toys from uh, Thalmcraft that I get to play with. Yeah. Have you seen the Botanical uh, Brewery? Mm -mm. Unfortunately, we haven't updated to the latest version, so I can't show the auto crafting still, but. It's fancy. It brews potions that you can drink that are like better than vanilla potions. The, is there a gooey, or is it just place things? Nope. And... Okay. There are no gooeys in Botania. Got it. Right, except for that book. Well, that doesn't count. Yeah, it counts. That's very advanced, Gooey. It's kind of only. Yeah. It's still advanced. Because he, like, doesn't use network code or something. Oh, okay. He doesn't he use packets at all. He right? only uses the vanilla packets for uh, tile entity syncing and nothing else. Got it. Okay. I don't know what that means or how impressive that is, but it sounds cool. Ah. It's just a way of thinking around it. It's not like super special or anything, but it's a sensible way to do stuff. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, Batania is like a very cool mod. There's neat things you can do with it. I want to do other things this episode. I want to play with Red String a little bit and check that out. Red String? Yeah, it's cool. I just have to find out where it is. Uh, Red String, yeah. there it is. Uh, all I need uh, is some pixie dust. And I just need a mana pearl to go into the portal. Activating portal. What's that? Oh. Yeah. It actually doesn't use that much mana to activate the portal, does it? Alright, let's check out this red string. Nice. So, there's... Five of these, Red String Container, Red String Dispenser, Red String Nutrifier, Red String Comparator, and Red String Spoofer. You ready to check out Red String, Soren? It's cool. Sure. So let's see, Red String Container. Do we have any? We do. Nice. So I'm just going to make one of these. Do you have a Wand of the Forest? I do not. I have nothing magical, per se. So what is Red String? Well, if you come to my base, you can see. Okay. It's Batania. There you go. Now you have a one of the forest. You're going to need it to see what Red String does. Oh, okay. I should go grab mine. I saw a picture of this on Twitter on point. So, place any items that you want inside the hopper. And it goes in the chest, I see? Yep. Yep. So it basically extends the eye-sided 
for the inventory component of the container. So whatever you put in the top goes into the top slot. So if the chest were sided, for example, and you know the sides and the bottom and the top were different inputs, they would right. all correspond correctly to the red string container. And if I put that block there, I assume it goes through it yep. or goes stop. Okay, cool. Yep. Now it can go through blocks. Uh, it just has to, you know, just it has to be facing the block basically. Got it. I don't know if you can bind it. I want to test that actually. I don't think so. I think it has to actually be facing like the actual chest that you want to link to. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think you can bind it. Yeah, there's no binding function on the red string container. So it definitely has to like be in one of the four directions or I guess maybe six. I don't know if we can face up and down. I think yeah. But what's cool is like that's not the only version of the red string block. There's also one that acts as a dispenser and one that acts as a comparator, and one that acts as uh, for flowers. And then one that acts as a neutrifier that has something to do with growing stuff. Hmm. So I might want to play around with it a little bit specifically for the flower-based ones, because you can basically like aim at any vanilla flower and have it take on the properties of a Batania flower. Any flower can be taking it on, but including vanilla. Like, so if you aimed at like a ah, okay. basic flower, like a daisy or you know right. a rose from vanilla, like It'll you kind could of extend it in a way. Okay. Yeah, cool. like you basically put the Batania flower on top of the red string block, and then have it facing a vanilla flower, and that vanilla flower acts like that one. That might be fun for like traps and stuff to use against Soren. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that's gonna happen. Nice. Um, so the, yeah, that's that's the red string stuff. I I really want to kind of play with it a little bit. Um, at least that's kind of the plan at some point soon. We shall see. Um, but I'm hoping that we can come up with something good to use it for. But it also has a comparator function, which is neat. Ooh. Yeah. So for example, let me show you. You went all the way around Fireball when you could have just, like, turned left. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was one way to get to your book. Yeah. Check this out, Soren. Hmm? So, for example, you know how, like, um, mana pools can output a redstone signal based on their strength of how full okay. they are? Okay. So if I put that there, I think. Oh, maybe too far. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try it a little bit closer. That's better. Interesting. Right? So it's basically outputting a comparator signal that the mana pool would be outputting. All right. Cool, right? Or if I wanted to hit this one, I could do this with this and that. There we go, redstone power 13. There you go, nice. Yeah. So I'm sure there's like cool stuff we could come up with to do with this. I thought that was pointing towards the torch at first. It's like, what? <laughs> no. Got it. So that's the red string stuff. There's some cool functions. I'm going to come up with a good build to do with red string because I think that would be fun to play with. Okay. But for now, we'll be back and I might want to show you one more cool gadget from Batania. I just don't know if we have it yet, so I have to go check. Alright guys, I decided that today's episode, I want to start uh, moving away from the magic for a little bit and go into a little bit more of a technical build. So the first thing I want to make is uh, the last couple episodes I'm wanting ender pearls and blaze rods and several other things. And uh, typically, like, I just don't have the resources. So I want to create some kind of mob farm. I haven't entirely decided how I want it to work out, but I know I want to use the Ender IO mob spawners because they're actually pretty powerful, but they require a lot of power. But luckily, we don't really have much of a way of power mm. problems. Yeah. 
So I need to find mob spawners if I want to find, uh, or if I want to make mob spawners from Ender.io. So my first thought was let's head to the deep dark because there's uh, definitely in the deep dark those um, those those castle things, which I just found one of and I'm in right now. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, they usually have at least a couple mob spawners in them. There's one mob spawner skeleton. Break. And... Hello? Oh, server lag. Cool. Did yeah, I crash I it? Timed out. Timed out. Oh, no, wait. Um, yeah. It's back. Ish. All right. Wait. Come back in. Yeah. Yeah. Server. Let's see. I got back in. Ish. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. I wonder if it's because I broke that spawner. There's only one Don't way to find out. Do it again. <laughs> That'd be terrible if you had an on and off switch for our lag. Well, it would be terrible if you had an on and off switch for lag. Ah, well, it's affecting me. So All right, tell me if it happens again. I just broke another spawner. No, I'm so good. That was weird. I found a death bloom from Biomes of Plenty. Any idea what that Ooh. is? Uh. Yes. Nope. <laughs> Do you? That wither effect. <laughs> really? I thought so. Well, like on any of these nearby? If you hit it, and like if you break the flower itself, it'll give you a wither, or if you touch it, it'll give you a wither. Yeah, if you stand on it. Uh, oh. We always did that on WWS. There was one exit from our mine. I would place it there, then Wild would place it there, and Wolf would run into it. It's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Does, um... Does it work on enemies, do you know? Like, play, like monsters? Yeah. It should. That's cool. There's a way to pick it up without getting hit by it, though. Nice, found another spawner. This was a good plan. Ooh, I found some oblivion frames. Oh, bees? Yeah. If we ever get into bees. <laughs> no, if you ever get into bees. <laughs> I... What's the matter, Soren? You don't want to do bees this time? I don't mind doing bees. I just don't want to have to try to get a specific bee. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be lost in it. I don't like doing punnet squares. You don't really actually have to do punnet squares. I know. Like, at all. I don't have patience. <laughs> Tell you what, build me the Gendistry Industries and I'll do bees for you. Uh, we have one of the blocks. Okay. I'm actually going to put some junk in here that I don't need at the moment. I don't need string. All right. have a so what I'm going to do, guys, is come back in a few minutes once I've gotten just a handful more spawners. Oh, there we go. I know I had collected four, and I'm like, why don't I only have three? They stack. Nice. So maybe I don't need to worry that much. I'm just going to find a few more spawners in here. I'm uh, really glad that I thought of this, because I was like, man, where am I going to get spawners from? And then uh, it occurred to me, like, these dungeons usually have quite a bit. And yeah, they do. All right, back in a few. Just want a few more spawners. I'm thinking like we'll have something like a control mechanism that'll let me turn the spawners on and off and do a bunch of other cool things. All right, back in a few. Yes, I can make it. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so it's about time that we get ourselves a soul binder because I want to try. I haven't really built a mob farm with Ender.io yet, but I really want to give it a try. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I got some broken spawners, so we want to bind them. Uh, I think it's nighttime still, right? It is. All right, well, hopefully I can find some mobs out there in the world. I need a soul vial, I think. Not a vial soul. <laughs> stop. I'll shut myself out. <laughs> oh my God, I said stop. I would appreciate that. I think that's enough for a couple more vials. So I think at the very first ones I want to make are probably... I'm going to want a zombie one, and I'll explain why I want zombies in a bit. I'm going to want an enderman, and I'm going to want a blaze. So the two that I have actually might be enough for us. I just have to go find a blaze in the nether and an enderman outside. Or we could always go to the end. Do we have a book to the end in Digger? Uh, I think so. Uh, 
No. I don't say I don't think so, but there's still one at my house. You should move that or copy it. At yeah, what, the deep space one? Yeah. Yeah. Which we okay. do have a book too, so That's right, someone made a direct link to my house. Actually you made it. Oh well. Your computer's not on it. up here. Oh that's another computer. Okay. Uh, I'm going to the end. To collect the soul of an Enderman. And then I'm gonna unleash it on Soren. Oh. I like how your book to the end still does not have a way out. It does. There's what a book it? there to return. Not where you land. Well, that's because I had to protect it. He has it. armor and flight, so. Here, the book is. Let me come out here. Really far away. <laughs> a second. Why? Why did you need to protect it? Up this way. Ah, uh, because the dragon was still around. Here's the book. Oh. Right here. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, what is this, your old base? I would still be in use to go down one level. Oh, yeah, this is where you have your ridiculous amount of power. Uh huh. So, for anybody who doesn't understand maths, he has 11 billion RF stored here in these capacitor banks. 11.1 to be exact. 11.1 billion <laughs> RF. You say come on, but that is a hundred million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, that is not a small amount to forget. I I will admit that that is not a small amount to forget. Um, I forgot it. What was it? Yeah. I'm going to go to the nether now and find a blaze. I'm thinking we'll be back once I find one. That's probably a good plan. Journey map have anything for me, blaze-wise? Not yet. Okay, now that I've got my vials, let's turn one of these spiders, because I really don't think I need them blaze, right? So we'll do this and spider, and that's going to require 15 levels of experience, so I'm going to snag that. Also, I installed an experience obelisk, by the way. I saw that. They're, I... they're pretty handy. Let's see. Can output. That's the other thing. The killer Joe will store experience from the things it kills. Oh, will it? Yeah. yeah. Like, mine's got like 500 levels in it. Oh, nice. Can you just get it directly from the killer Joe, or do you have yeah, to pump you, it out? You go to the killer Joe, and you just go, like, extract levels. Nice. Oh, okay. So we'll do that. Nice. Yeah. Um, Ender.io, by the way, uses the liquid experience from open blocks. So if you want, you can pipe it into a oh. tank. You can. Now that's interesting. I assume you can. I mean, like, you can do it from the experience obelisk, as far as I know. All right. I haven't tried. I didn't know that you could. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it uses open blocks as a liquid experience. So, you know, have that's fun with that. That's very interesting, man. All right. We'll be back in a minute, guys. Soren, uh, actually, let's before we close up here, is this where you want the spawner to be? That back room there? Yeah. yeah. Like there's a I mean I feel like room. I feel like nine by nine is probably sufficient. Uh, oh, it's gonna be back here. This is just one block wider than nine by nine, and so you can do whatever. Okay. I just mined That's it good. out so you can build inside it. That works. Well, you make it look cool inside there. And I'm going okay. to get some glass and then we'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. So here's where Soren dug out what he wants the room to be at. I've got some thickened glass in here, just so we can kind of, you know, see into the room. I've got my first spawner. I believe this is the blaze one. So we'll put that right in the middle. Why not? Oh wait, I have to upgrade this, don't I? Yeah, I have to do something with this. I have to do... Stuffs. I have to make a powered spawner. And then I have to combine this in a crafting table. That's what I need to do. It's not just the broken spawner piece. I almost forgot. Well, I'm glad this doesn't need it all at once, huh? Uh, so I'm going to want two powered spawners at first. So vibrant crystals. I think we've got alloys here to spare. And we'll be back in a minute. Let me craft this off camera. All right, guys, we're back. So I needed 30 levels to do this. Broken spawner blaze plus powered spawner. Maybe it needs to be this way, this way. There we go, okay. Blaze spawner. Cool. Guys, I'm really good at getting it the last one, like where there's one essence left. Mm -hmm. What's that now? Uh, the Osmotic Enchanter. I keep, yeah, I have to keep recharging his uh, wand. Are you but making ridiculously uber-powered armor? Of course. That's beside the point. 
I keep taking it out. <laughs> One tick before. I'm not wanting to and die that anymore. There's a conduit. Dying is over. Mm, at least I for a little that, bit. But, um, We're gonna find know, a way. I haven't, actually, I haven't actually finished improving my crossbow now. Right. And that like left fireball on like one heart. Yeah. So maybe if I put the not chapel upgrade on each one, add another set of quartz, maybe it'll kill someone in one shot through that armor. Maybe. Hopefully. I will see about. Well, I can do it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see about uh, protection. So, uh, now we're on to boots. Uh, I don't think there's anything special you want tonight, is it? I think right, we're gonna, gonna need more of this, but I'll come back for it. Uh, what I also want is this Welcome guy. F9, it's all ready to go. Because I replaced my main power system. I'm mostly really just waiting for the one to charge, anyways. Um, well, not unless you want for the full slow. <laughs> nah, I took that off. So, eh. okay, so I can see all of them. Whoa, are you sure about haste three there? That's run speed, right? No, haste is also walking. Yeah, but but I mean like, on top of the, the the. Sash, you're gonna be going gotta go here, fast. hilariously fast. Gotta go faster, faster. That is a Sonic X. Yeah, uh, I suppose it's not quite Miracle, just Sonic the Hedgehog up uh, in general. Right. Yeah. There's gotta be a Sonic the Hedgehog mod by now. No, oh, there'll be like hundreds. Like Mobius crap. Just gives you a blue mohawk, that's all it does. So I basically wanna get to. 851, 980. I think some of the stuff would be, if, if done right, it could be really cool and the stuff, because you've got the whole kind of roboticization side of stuff and things, haven't you? But, it, it, you know, it just won't be. Mm -hmm. like, you could do a, a ton of really cool stuff with, like, Eggman stroke robotics stuff. <laughs> Me? Hmm. We should try making this a thing sometime. Uh, I can't be bothered. Oh, you, I mean, should probably, you should probably finish your current that, mod first yeah, before making a new one. That's the plan. That's good. <laughs> and then you got baby torches. No, Are we going to have Zycraft in 1.7 now that. that I'm recording and I can ask you that question because somebody else brought it up? Haha. -ha. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> what? Ooh, what? You are so cold. I'm asking a very simple question. <laughs> it's not simple. I, I feel like it's a pretty simple question. <laughs> I didn't how say how it was simple to accomplish. <laughs> what? What? No, I actually didn't hear you that time. What? <sighs> Never mind. Chat, what do you say? He asked if there's gonna be a Zycraft for 1.7 because he's recording now and he didn't bring it up, so something along those lines. Yeah, but after all the responses, we got to that last statement. What was that? Oh. I heard all that. <laughs> Power in here. This Word thing on. might be on. So chicken bones. Active with redstone signal. That's interesting. The, the the powered spawner has a new feature to it that I don't know about. Oh, yes. That's the awesome feature. Yeah, Capture? that's the whole, you don't have to... Yeah, you, basically you put in an empty vial and instead of spawning something, it goes straight into the vial. Well, that's neat. Yeah, that's because uh, he um, he changed the recipe for the dimensional transceiver, and I said, ah, there needs to be a way to automate this. Yeah, because it requires yeah. like an in-demand cell. Nice. So um, to spawn blazes with an octodick capacitor requires 7,500 RF per tick. Just um, so you all know. Whenever right, I hear someone say anything about power, it's just like, uh huh. What's that? <laughs> I said, whenever anyone's talking about how much power it takes for something, I'm just like, uh huh. Uh huh. Because you have 11.1 .1 billion? Yeah, pretty much. Right. And you're allowed to talk right now because. <laughs> Silence wow. you. No talking for you. That's what I just from Dyer. I have spoken. <laughs> Dyer, mm. the word is law. That's good you come check this one. So what I'm thinking is that we'll have levers above barrels, and they'll basically be like here, here, and here. So like these will be barrels that store the items that are dropped by the mobs, and these will be the levers yeah. that we turn on to activate the mobs. That's everything unless you want night vision. Yeah, no night vision. 
So that's west. In, out, west, in, out, west, in, out. And we'll make that seat. red, green, brown. I think I just heard a creeper seed. I hope I heard a creeper seed. Otherwise, oh, yeah, yeah, exploded. it's the, the spawner. It's like just... Yeah. Is, that, is that jet engine that you saw? Is that jet engine? Well, <laughs> I don't want that to happen because that's right below me right now. Mm, is it? I thought it's on the other house. No, I'm no, just in a below. Oh, okay. It is pointing directly at me. To the point where I was kind of annoyed when I found that it was drawing from the the, the, the connection to the node that the Osmotic Enchanter uses. Mm. Yeah. In, out, that'll be color red, that's fine. So I'm trying to fix that. So the plan here, guys, is eventually to have different frequencies hooked up to different colors, obviously, and there'll be the different switches, and maybe we'll even do yeah, something with, like, this word is automation. Ah. <laughs> so, Soren, I'm almost ready to turn on our blaze spawner. Oh, good, because yeah. I need a lot of blazes. Do you need blaze rods? Yes. Okay, well, asking you should renewable receive. safe for sulfur, so. Give me, like, 30 seconds. Okay. And I might even be ready now that my, uh, you know what, I need more, I need more emeralds. Wherever you're at, can you get emeralds from whoever you are at and steal it from them? Cuts? I um, don't have that many. I don't have, like, a okay. collector or anything. I have 17,000, and they're not processed. Can we have yet. 17? Stack. I just need, like, one. Sure. <laughs> okay, could I have one stack? Sure. Yeah, well, one stack is I fine. I, was, I, was, I meant we only need one, one like, total, but that's cool. <laughs> one chest. I... One storage cell. One 64 stacks of DSUs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I'll wait for you to get here, Soren, before I turn on the spawner. Okay, I'm looking for the book that was right next to you. Are right, you coming here? I was going to come over to Cuts's. Uh, I can go to either my base or your base. Yeah. I'll go to your base. Okay. Then you can see my spawner room and tell me what you think. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, this is the initial. Like, I haven't done the auto killing no piece aesthetics. yet. This should just be the turning on the spawner deal. You told me I'm not allowed to talk, so I can't tell you what I can do. <laughs> Ouch. You have an emerald for me, Zorn? It's him. Oh, uh, emerald ore? Okay. I have like 17,000 of it. I have fortune three. Am I like, actually going to try that? Well, I was just going to put it in the sag mill. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Okay. There you go. Have fun. Just drop <laughs> one in the AE system as soon as you have it. Can you just place them? Oh, okay. I can place them for you. Take him, Dyer! <laughs> <laughs> Flying the dire. Thank you. Oh, you could smelt them or pulverize them to get two. Okay, I'm going to just keep breaking because I get more from breaking. Powered spawner should be good to go now. Right, I need to zombie my lights. head. Glowstone's expensive. Redstone. <laughs> I say that just because we're not in the nether for eating. What? Glowstone, we don't have a quarry in the nether, so we don't have an infinite supply, really. Okay. He had a hammer. We don't have an infinite either. supply. I could actually make an infinite supply of redstone if you, or of glowstone if you needed to. Could you? Which is? I could. Yeah, what is infinite? Uh, Batania? Oh. oh. Yeah, you can you can do redstone, glowstone, quartz, and yeah. a few other things with Batania magic. Okay. Mm, I just spawned witches. <laughs> I'm thinking that. It's like we could just have a witch spawning. Yeah, I think that will cost a lot more power, I think, probably. Oh well. Okay, so there's the Enderman one. Alright, I'm ready to hook up the Enderman spawner now. Okay. I walk really fast now. So you ready to come check this out? So I'm going to put my powered spawner here. I'm 
which will also be configured to active with signal just like you are. What was and that noise, it says, as I fall off a cliff? Alright, you ready, Soren? Yeah. I have to remember which one was red and blue and green and whatnot. Na, 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 back and green. green. Alright, so the left one should turn on blazes. Alright, our... oh. Well, no, that shouldn't have actually... Why'd you lose all that power so fast and not turn back on? That's strange. Where'd all the uh, power go? Right. Weird. I can't click. I can't click that block. I need to go investigate our power situation. This test rack's not on, is it? It should be. Doesn't look like it is. Shouldn't oh, be glowing. You had redstone signals on low. Oh. There we go. Ha, ah, derp. Yeah, I tell it to ignore. Hey, look, a blaze. You're a pet. <laughs> I was about to say. Something. I'll probably live. No, oh, let me <laughs> out, let me it. out. So we have to auto kill them, but obviously like this should work pretty well. Now if I turn that off and I turn on the Enderman spawner, the Enderman should start spawning. This takes 15,000 RF per tick. Wow, that's a lot of RF per tick. I mean, it's not that bad, but... This is in their bottom floor behind the... Uh... If you go down the stairs, it's behind that wall. No, I mean, like, where are you getting the numbers for how much it's costing? Oh, probably the If power you just bar. mouse over the, the power bar, it tells you what the use is. Oh, even when it's turned off? Or... Oh, for Enderman, I found this out. You have to have the area above it open, because they, they fall down. Like, they spawn above the powered spawner for Enderman. Really? Yeah. That's annoying. Like, how much above it? Just one or...? Uh, like, one or two blocks should be enough. You'll know when you get it, because they'll, they'll start popping <laughs> You'll know when they start spawning. Yeah, there, see? Oh, there we go. Okay. That's fun. <laughs> so, yeah, Enderman are working now. By the way, I do have a plan for them teleporting in case that becomes a problem for us. Uh, it shouldn't be. Because, like, if you, um... If you kill them with the Killer Joes, and the Killer Joe... Like, uh, doesn't have fire on the sword, they'll just stay. Also, okay. especially nice. if you put binding on the sword, they won't be able to teleport away anyway. Cool. Okay, so I think that's a plan, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so with that, I think it's time to wrap up. So uh, there's a couple more components of this build that we're going to do. Uh, we're probably going to use Killer Joe, like we've mentioned, to do some killing, and I'm going to use an Attraction Obelisk to make sure that any mobs that do spawn uh, make their way towards the Killer Joes. Uh, my basic plan is a Killer Joe in each of the cobblestone slots and the Attractor Obelisk in the empty block space down there in the middle. Um, we'll have a couple more spawners for any other mob creatures that we need. The only thing is for Killer Joes, we need some nutrient distillation. So we're definitely going to want to work towards that. So for now, Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time to hopefully finish up this mob spawner. All right, guys, take it easy.